Now, there are some people who say things like, don't know if I'll make it to oh, see the age of 18. Yeah. 21, for example. Yeah. Did you have any of these thoughts yourself growing up in the zone? Hell yeah, that's an accomplishment right now, my guy. That's an accomplishment right now, just to be in front of you right now. I know um, I've been shot three times before I, be, before, I even, before I even got grown. I was shot three times. So, um, and not even just the fact of being shot three times, I've been in multiple situations that could have fucking, and, and just quite, quite honest, put it in to me, if not my life, but my freedom. And I made it through it. Was that three different occasions? Um, no, it was two different occasions. I was shot twice on one occasion and once on the other. And can you share where you were shot on each occasion? Um, the first time I was shot, I was shot in my back on the block that I grew up from, well, grew up on, Weedham, which was what we call 14. And um, the second time I was shot um, in my chest and in my hand. And do you recall what ages this took place in your life? Uh, I want to say the first time I was 11, when I was shot in my back, which actually was a graze. Let me be um, open with that, it was a graze on my back. And the second time I shot, I think I was like 13 or 14, if I'm not mistaken. No grazes there? No, nah, no grazes there. You actually, uh, on your Instagram, for example, have photos of you where you're shirtless and you can see a giant scar in the middle of your chest. Yeah. Stomach area. I mean, yeah, I almost, almost, I almost lost my life for sure. I mean, um, that's another thing. Like, we got this drill genre. We talk what the, the whole genre is about talking shit. <laughs> the whole genre is about talking shit. And um, anybody that pay attention to my journey, pay attention to my pictures, pay anything, you come to me, you're going to see the, the, the true essence of truthfulness, honesty, like, I'm not, you feel me? Like, he just said, I don't rap about being shot. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, also, I'm not glorifying these things. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm also trying to get to another place in my life. But the point I'm making is, is geniality behind what I'm talking about, what I'm doing. And that's, that's what you want. Fuck with me, for sure. And for those in the audience, getting to know you for the very first time, yeah. care to share your screen name on IG as well. Frisco Hardbody Skull on all social platforms. And if it ain't that Frisco, my name, fuck with me. Now for those in the audience yeah. that have never been shot by a gun before, mm -hmm. what does that really feel like? I don't feel none. <laughs> I, I don't feel none, bro. I don't feel none. This is, let me explain that to you, though. Because I know it probably seemed cocky or what he on. What God got for me is what God got for me. Mortal man not gonna be the one to kill me unless God ordained it to be that way. So any fuck motherfucker hating on me, you don't like me, whatever you got for me, I ain't saying that they ain't gonna be it, but God got something for me, you feel me? And that's what it's gonna be my fate, not you fuck niggas. For sure. Now, at that point, getting shot twice, mm -hmm. were you under the influence of any drugs or medication at that time? Let me speak to that. I, don't, I ain't I, up until now, right now. Be honest, I ain't never, I ain't never did no drugs. I ain't never popped no pill a day in my life. I ain't never had trilene a day in my life. Smoke weed here and there. I ain't never did no drugs. Uh, right, right now I do, but at that point, nothing, nothing. You feel me? And was asking because if you were under the influence of a drug or a substance at that point, yeah. wanted to know if maybe that had anything to do with the pain level or things of that nature. So just curious there. The bullet that hit your chest, mm -hmm. that, and the bullet that hit your hand, yeah. did either of those bullets go through you? Did they stay in those areas and have to be removed? Are any of them still in you today, so to speak? I still got a bullet in my back right now to this day. Yeah, hell yeah, from when I got shot um, in my chest, that bullet is still laying in my um, back somewhere. I had my spleen removed on that surgery. I'm sure it, is, um, it affects some form of health, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good now, though. I'm good now, though. What about the hand? The hand? No, that went in and out. I don't know if anybody can, um, you guys can see that. Lift it up a little higher? Yeah, right here. In and out. In and out. And uh, that's the... Uh, 
That's the scar from um, surgery, from the being shot in the chest, my guy. Yeah. Now, that bullet that is still around your back to this very moment, is it a possibility that can still come out? Is that a possibility it can still get removed at some point? Or is it better left where it's at? I mean, from what I was told, it was better left um, where it was at. But I still move around with caution, though. I still move around. I mean, let me not. I mean, it doesn't hinder my life. Let me say that. But I still be mindful of it. So could you exercise? Could you play sports? Can you do these types of activities? Oh, yeah, I shoot the three. I bust a motherfucker ass right now. <laughs> I shoot the three. Yeah, what up? Game with 32 right now. And I work out. Is that, a, is that doctor approved? Is that okay with that bullet where it's at that you can do those type of things? Or are you just taking it upon yourself to do those type of um, things? Um, I haven't went that far into it, but yeah. I didn't I didn't been fucking visits to the doctor and shit. There was no yeah, I should be I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Hard body. Can it do any further damage where it's at currently? It probably could if I if I was to be negligent about it. It probably could. Um yeah, I mean, I don't know, though. I don't know, though. And that's a good question, man. I probably should get that shit looked into. I probably should get that shit looked into. Any sensitivity to weather changes where that bullet is located? Uh, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Hell, I mean, sometimes I may ache in my back and shit. Sometimes I may ache in my back from time to time. Yeah. And have you experienced a metal detector or metal wand since the shooting? Yeah, like, can I get in, can I go through fucking the airport and shit without it being a problem? Yes, the no. x-ray machine. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck no. When I come through, I mean, they end up, it, it, it always end up being, like, um handled the right way. But I went from um no not flying a day in my life to flying fucking two, three times a week. So, yeah, it definitely has become, a, um I won't say an issue because it's always handled. But yeah, hell yeah, for sure. But the x-ray machine always goes off mm -hmm. when you go through it. Yep, yep. And do you know the caliber of the bullet that you were struck by? The one in my back um, is a thirty-eight. The one uh, I was grazed with, I don't know. And the one that went through the hand was a thirty-eight as well? Uh, that's the one I don't know. I was also uh, grazed, the grazed in the back and hand. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You said it went through you, so in the hand, so it did go through you, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. wasn't a graze on yeah. the hand. Yeah. The back was a graze when you were like 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the one that went through you on the hand, was that a 38 as well, or? No, nah, the, the, the grazes, I don't know the actual, um, and I made that out, thank God, I made that out well. I don't know the grazes, because there's no um, way to um, say what it is, because there's no bullet for it. I can't say what it is. Only way I know it's a 38 in my back, because... The bullet is still there. But is it safe to guess that the one that hit your hand was a thirty eight as well? Yeah, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can fuck with that. Now, looking back, what was your key to the survival of these gunshots? Because there are some that don't make any of that as well. There's stories where a person is shot one time, yeah. and they're not able to even do an interview about it. I'm hard body God not gonna let me die until my time come. I'm a firm believer in it. My spirit strong. <laughs> you know what I'm I don't think I'm like immortal or no shit like that, but my man God, when God called me, that's when the time coming. Can't no motherfucker just take me out this bitch. No way. What about the medical staff? Do you credit them at all? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, thank thanks everybody that saved my life. God first though. We're gonna get we gonna get an ultimate creator, his credit though, for sure. And do you recall the hospital that you were in at the time? It's only, it's pure and not a big place. So either got to be um, OSF. Fuck is that other one? We going with OSF. Yeah. It's only two big hospitals in that motherfucker, man. But we're going to roll with OSF. Got to be OSF because it's right downtown. And last question here about the shooting. Were you an innocent bystander at the time or you were the intended target? I'm the intended target. I'm going to attend the target. You mentioned God here. Do you follow religion? Yeah. By any chance? Yeah. Care to share what that is? I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. And um, I know um, you probably got people out there that know that, that he rapped the way he rap. He talked the shit he talked, but it's on God to judge me, not you. And um, 
Yeah, that's really why I stand up with that. And um, another thing though, when you finally get your foot in these dough for young artists that's on the way, I didn't have I didn't have myself blackballed for not being a Muslim. You know, for um basically that I mean, I don't wanna really speak out of turn with that, but when you get your foot in the dough, you gotta understand that this rap shit is really politics, you know? This rap shit is really politics. And I stand up with my chest out and say I'm a Christian. It's on God to condemn me or judge me, not you. So that's what that is. Now, when it comes to Christianity for you, yeah, does it get any further than that? Like a particular branch or denomination under Christianity, perhaps? Nah, 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 nah that's it. And why Christianity for you? I had a perfect, uh, um, personal experience with it. Just a personal experience with it. Were you raised to follow Christianity, perhaps, during your upbringing at all? Yeah, I was raised, but I really never listened to it, to be honest. But So I had to have my own walk with God to stand in it. And even though you didn't align with it growing up until at some point when you have a personal experience, who raised you under that religion back then? Was it the mother's side of your family, father's side of your family, or both? My mother. My mother's side of the family. My grandmother, Gully.